Hi all, it's Eleanor here. I'd like to share with you today how to increase your self-esteem with healing sound. You know, every morning I have a little reader that I read from and they're quotes and inspiring things. And this morning there was a really beautiful one on self-esteem that is inspiring this recording. So most of us have spent way, way too much time feeling less than great about who we are and what we've done. And we've simply been harshly criticized perhaps as children or by others, or maybe we've simply lost perspective and become overly hard on ourselves. Particularly these days when we've been shut down for so long and alone, those little critters in the head can talk real, real loudly. And what I want to address is that issue of your own self-talk inside. That is a sound. Just because you don't hear it outside doesn't mean that it's powerful. Sound can be used destructively or constructively, and that's a destructive use of sound. So today, we have the opportunity to stop that kind of self-destructive thinking. And isn't it about time that you allow yourself to be more kind to yourself and to feel good about yourself? If there's any time where we can know how important that is, just look outside your window or turn on your, your computer or look in the social media. It's very, very easy to see. But it takes time for old doubts and criticism within to fade and for those wounds to heal and self-confidence, self-esteem, you know, that, that confident feeling, it comes slowly and it grows one moment at a time. And you can begin like right now, doesn't take any time, doesn't take any money. You can begin to watch your thoughts, watch that inner voice, listen to it. What is it saying to you? And you can acknowledge that you have positive qualities. For those who have negative self-critical thoughts running through your head all day long, you can make an extra effort to counteract that negative thinking with positive thinking. For example, um, I, I was with a, a, a client a few weeks ago and she said, how come I always, that word always, how come I always start something and then I don't follow through? She was berating a project that she, uh, that she valiantly decided to work on and hired me to help her to accomplish it. And then in the middle, she's berating herself because she didn't follow through on, on a commitment that she had made. And by her speaking about it and looking at a different way to approach her voice and then some ways that we work with healing sound of how she can turn that around, she, she began saying to herself, well, sometimes I don't. And we looked behind what was making her not do it and procrastinate. And that with these very simple techniques, she took one teeny beanie step and moved forward. <laughs> and then the next session she was ecstatic. <laughs> so what can you do with a right now, a teeny beanie step when you find yourself saying, oh, I always, you always, it's usually with a you. You always, that gets that with me when that happens, it's like my, my belly just scrunches up. So when you hear that, you can counteract that negative voice with, well, sometimes, sometimes I do, but a lot of times I do follow through and be a champion for yourself. Show up for yourself. It'll really make a difference. So for every defect that you could identify, you really, you can identify probably several more 
that are esteemable qualities about yourself that counteract that defect. And, and you can turn that into an asset and remind yourself of your assets. And uh, some people find it really helpful to write the things down. And one of the activities and assignments I give to my clients is at the end of the day, I have them send me three things I did well, three things I love about myself, three things I appreciate, you know, on, on a running basis when we're working over months, it really, it, it really shifts your inner dialogue. If you could start by the end of the day, just write five, 10 things that you did well, and you will start to hear a shift within and you will begin to see difference in your life. So with practice, we can learn to treat ourselves really, really well and to treat yourself with gentleness and with kindness. You really, really deserve it. And we each, each one of us has admirable qualities and we really do owe it to ourselves to let them shine. So my question to you today or my invitation to you is to really um, make an effort today to remember your positive qualities and that when you hear your critical self-talk try and turn it around make it your priority today to make your self-esteem and your self-confidence your priority what will you do today first step is to make a commitment write in the comments below what you will do and if you are not yet a member of our Healing Sounds of Feminine Leadership group on Facebook, please come by and join us because every week, every Friday, I give a training on how you can harness the healing power of sound in your voice for constructive purposes. And uh, I'd love to see you there. And if you have a question, please pop me a private message. And let me see how I can help you to reinforce your own hugely amazing, powerful qualities that you have residing right within you. And in these days, we need to hear your voice more than ever. It's really important. So uh, take care. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.